Working in the emergency department, a lot of times our patients are becoming increasingly violent lately. Nurse Ashley Blevins says in the past year, staff have been spit on, cussed out, and in some cases beaten by patients. So it's nice that we have the chance to press our button and then security knows exactly where we are. And if we end up having to chase a patient down, they know where our last location is. Cox Branson's patient safety facilitator Angie Smith says after analyzing workplace violence numbers in Branson, she knew they needed this system. Because of the way our property was laid out, um, it's going to have to work off of a GPS or wireless type system. So it was going to cost quite a bit of money. Mindy Honey with Skaggs Foundation says when learning there had been 123 assaults on staff and 78 injuries. We couldn't move quickly enough. And so this was one of the quickest uh, grants we've ever funded before. Honey says the grant is $132,000. And with assaults increasing, she says. We're so vital to get this money into their hands right away. And so the thought that they can push that button and help will be on the way immediately. It was just a no brainer for us to make that move. Smith says the emergency room nurses see a lot of violence, but it also happens all throughout the hospital. It's in our critical care units. It's in our med search floor areas. A lot of times it is a repeated violence as well. We may have the same patient doing the same thing or getting worse each time they do it. Nurse Blevin says she thinks the pandemic has made an impact on these situations as well. They come in here and then they have to sit in here because everywhere's full. We have no placements to put anybody. Um, and that's just frustrating on the patients. It's frustrating on us. I think that's increasing a lot of violence. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.